Okay, quick video, I think expanding, I should, I'm sorry, I should have written logarithmic expressions. Um, can we just go through these properties really quickly? I think probably what would be best is after we talk about them really, really quickly, is that you stop the video for a second and copy these down because this is what you're going to really need to use to, to do the, con uh, den <laughs> the condensing and the expansion of logarithmic expressions. Also, I want to remind you that what happens often is that when these rules are, are mentioned, that people forget these kind of little details right here. And if you can remember these details, it's going to really serve you. So take a second, make sure you think about what this says right here. Okay, uh, so here are these properties of, of logarithms. It just says let b, u, and v be positive numbers such that b cannot be equal to 1. There are three properties that I want to talk about briefly today and the first is the product property and it says that log base b of u times v is the same or can be rewritten it's in this case expanded as log base b of u plus log base b of v and we're going to go through what that might look like the second one is the quotient property which says that log base b of u over v is the same as log base b of u minus log base b of v i'm sorry log base b of v the last one is the power property, which suggests to us that log base b of u to the power of n is the same as n times log base b of u. And what happened here is this just got rolled back to here, okay? Um, the first two rules actually should make some sense because if we think about logarithms in the form that they're another way of writing exponents, these look like the laws of exponents, don't they? For example, if we have uh, 3 squared times 3 to the third, we would have 3 to the 3 plus 2, wouldn't we? And here, it's the same way, if we had um, log base, I'm sorry, if we had 3 to the third over 3 squared, we would have 3 to the 3 minus 2 power, wouldn't we? And I'm asking you to look at this and say, aren't these similar? And doesn't that make some sense? The last one we'll argue about later. But for now, let's actually get into doing a bunch of these problems and see if they make sense to you. We're going to be using, uh, can we call these rules 1, 2, and 3, just so we know what we're talking about here? So let's do some expansion problems. So expand the log expression. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this one. Log base 2 of 9 of 9x. Well... Right, we're just going to use rule number one there, right? When it's this times this, so we could just say this is the same as log base two of nine, right? Multiplication, so we're going to add plus log base two of x. There's some argument here. What can we do? Do we? Um, what you could do is this. You could convert this to because nine is a perfect square. We could call this three squared and then roll this out and make this two, right? Log base two of three um, not sure that's what you want to do or not but if not you could just leave it at minimum at minimum you would have to do this wouldn't you okay so and just to make it clear this nine is this nine and this X is this X and they're both log base two aren't they so just following the form that they gave us all right let's try another couple let's try another couple uh, the next one suggests to us that we have this We have log of the square root of x. Well, first thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to write log x to the one-half power. And if the, this rational exponents and radicals thing, if that bothers you at all, please go and, and watch my video on that. I think it will be really helpful. So here we're going to go. What we're going to do is this. We're almost done now, aren't we? I'm going to take this here. I'm just going to roll it out to here. I'm going to rewrite this as one-half. Right? one half log of x and there's our our solution this is i think this is not too bad at all is it okay let's try a couple more and maybe we'll find one that's a little bit more interesting how about this one just for fun ln of ln of 22x we rewrite this a bunch of ways i guess the just stick with this is ln of 22 plus ln of x right do log base e, however you want to do that. Um, could factor this out a little bit and maybe make this ln of 2 plus ln of 11 because 2 times 11 would get that if you wanted to take out factors, but you wouldn't have to. Um, let's just keep moving a little bit. 
All right, let's try this one. <clears throat> About this log of. Now, what you have to, again, what you have to think about is this. I'm just going to rewrite this just for a second. So we, just a equivalent form rewriting that I can turn this radical, right, into a rational exponent. There's the three and there's the four because I want you to see where these things came from. Is the same as log of x, right, to the three fourths power and then from there, then we can simplify this by using rule number three, right? So now we'll use rule three. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to roll it. Whoops, sorry about that. That's not correct. We're going to roll this out in front of the log here, right? And it becomes a coefficient there. So we would have three-fourths log of x, wouldn't we? Okay. All right. So I'm going to keep moving. How many examples have we done? How many examples are good for you? All right, let's try this. Uh, you know, let's try this one. It's just a little bit more stuff. So it's ln of 3xy cubed. All right, I'm just going to break this into its pieces. ln of 3 plus ln of x plus ln of y cubed. What can we do with this cubed here? Bring this out in front to here, can't we? So that's what I'm going to do here. This is using rule number 3. So far, I used rule number one and three, so there's that, and that's the expansion of that, isn't it? Okay, so here we go. Actually, I'm going to pause just for a second, because I don't think I want to be done just yet. All right, I just want to do one last one. I just want to take a look. I want to make one that's a little bit more difficult. So here's this one. It's log base 2 of the square root of 4x. And this is going to just take some rewriting, so I'm going to do this. Log base 2 of the square root of 4. Hopefully you can start seeing what's going to happen here. Plus, right, <clears throat> log base 2 of square root of x. Remember, we can factor out under the square under square roots, right? Um, just yeah. If if you're confused about why it was okay for me to do this, please uh, look at my video on radical and radicals and rational exponents, and that will really solve this for you. So I'm just going to keep rewriting log base two of well, the square root of four is two, and log base two of two, right? Two to what power equals two is one. So this is one, right? This is log base 2 of x to the 1 half, isn't it? So we can roll this forward, and we get 1 half log base 2 of x. So here we've used um, rules 1 and 3, and this is our final solution. Okay, you guys, I really do hope that was helpful, and um, give me your comments. Tell me how I did.